Hi, my name is Sunday and I want to welcome you to my Crafty Corner. Here we'll discover and review whatever craft is on my mind. If you ever have a suggestion, leave it here in the comments and we'll explore it together. You'll have to excuse my dog in the background. His name is Potato. He is a giant black Labrador and he is old and he is walking around and drinking water and do, doing all the dog stuff. Today I'd like to unbox a diamond art club diamond painting kit that's a round kit um you will always know by the big round circle around the em uh you know the emblem here you'll also have a maroon border here if it's a square kit it'll have a blue border and it will be a square and it will have a blue stripe here this beautiful sparkling box. It's everything you want it to be. And we have our little Among Us friend here because I don't want to show you what's in the box yet. This is one of my kids' toys they left out and I like to play with it when I'm stressed out too. This is what the side of the box looks like. With all its pretty shininess. And down here on the back, we have the instructions which you can read for yourself anytime, as well as the contents of the kit. On the side, you're gonna have a coupon that unlocks 10% um, off. You'll never have to pay full price when it comes to Diamond Art Club because there's several ways to get um, money back or money off. Um, if you're a first time buyer, I think you can get like 15% off on the box, there's that 10% code that you can get off on the packing slip they send you. It also has a code to get a certain percentage off. So, I mean, it's really reasonable for a really good kit. Um, <clears throat> and we will go ahead and open it for the first time together. I'd already taken off the plastic. Let's see. Inside you have your beautiful um, canvas. The canvas is made of tarpaulin and it's made of tarpaulin so that it will lay flat and um, quickly. Inside you'll have a sticker and um, this is by Lisa Francis Judd. It's called She Believes She Could. And this is what it is going to be. A lot of people take this sticker off and either put it in a journal or they put it on the side of their box so that when they store it away, you have it either on the front, easy to find, or you have it on the side, easy to find. Either which way that you wanna put it, store it away. So it initially comes out with that. And where is it? The toolkit is in there. There it is. The toolkit for a round um, drill kit is the same as a square. The only difference is, is it's not going to have your tweezers. It comes with a bunch of baggies, which I only use for kitting down. I don't use it for um, actual diamond art painting. I use little canisters for that that I get from um, Harbor Freight. They're really cheap. I'll show them to you sometime. It also comes with a pen and a squishy and a four place multi-placer. You can see it even has number four on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But this with the squishy on it, it's made for um, long-term use so that your hands don't get cramped up. You get two plates of cutie patootie red heart wax and your um, tray with a spout so that you can line them up and you can, sorry, there was dog hair on there. You can line them up and easily pour them into whatever container you're gonna use. And we'll put that aside and we will open up the good part, the really good part. And I picked out, um, I ordered these ones that 
It's a series of them that I picked out that have positive affirmations because I want to spread some more positivity around the house. And I want my kids to look at things as they come and go and see positive things, positive messages. So here is the canvas right here. If I can get the whole thing in the shot, I will try. I did that. See, with this, you can just roll it backward and it will pretty much flatten it out. In about an hour, it will lay completely flat. But you've got the words she believed she could written right here. And you have your bird taking off and flying. Um, this one has, it looks like two AB colors and the ABs are noted by, um, the numbers for Diamond Art Club only of 150 and below. And I've got 132 and I have 135. Um, on the bottom of the kit, I mean the bottom of the canvas, you also have, um, a 10% off code. And that comes on all canvases. You have the title and the artist on the bottom left. You have the um, the legend on the bottom left and on the upper right. I'm sorry, on the upper left and the bottom right. And do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club on the top. And the canvas, I don't know if you can tell, it's extremely sparkly and pretty before you even start laying your drills down. And you can see how clear the drill field is. It's just amazing to me. It's so fun to work on. And this is double, or it's uh, pork glue and not the double-sided uh, tape, which the double-sided tape, it tends to have bubbles more and rivers and makes it hard for you to keep your drills placed where you put them. The port glue doesn't seem to have that problem. It's extremely sticky. And you can tell the difference. One of the ways you could tell is because they pour the glue and the glue will come just, just past the, um, the picture, the painting. And then the covering, which is usually clear, is cut way past it. So you have the glue stopping here, but you have the plastic stopping way down here. <clears throat> this canvas is very velvety and soft tarpaulin. When you get the kit, you also get step-by-step um, -step instructions. This also has a thank you code in it. And you get the inventory sticker. You can write um, your start date and your end date. It tells you everything you need to know. A lot of people will put these um, in their journals or I don't know. I put them all over the boxes that I work off of. Like um, this one right here. This is my current uh, whip, which is a work in progress. And see, I just put it on my box. And so my boxes are covered with stickers and it's really cute. Um, you can label your uh, containers very easily with these. These peel off individually. They're individual stickers. And then I usually save the leftover ones for um, the blank ones for whatever else I want to write. If I have um, extras of something that I, I ruined a sticker of, I can write it for myself. So I get that. <clears throat> and then we have the drills. Just look at these brown drills. Look at how pretty they are. Oh my goodness. Look at those colors. Those are like spring colors. And it has the title of the painting right here. And let's take a look at them. Let's see if I can find an easy way to show the AB 
versus the um, regular uh, coating. The AB coating is a, is called Aurora Borealis, and it's it's because it has this extra coating, this extra shine on it. And when it's next to the other ones, it really makes it shine. So, looks like we've got a lot of travelers in this. Let me start showing you different colors. Oh, this one was a Lone Ranger. This is 135. This one is one of the ABs. See that extra sparkle? And if you look at, say, this one right here, it doesn't have the same type of sparkle. But when you put them together, it's absolutely amazing. So this is 135. I don't know if I said 150, but I didn't mean to. And um, we have so many. Let's go right here. We have two bags of, let's see if I can get that clear and straight. Here we go. Nine, nine, six. A nice blue. It's a refreshing blue. Then we have seven, seven, two. This would be a better comparison, I think, for the AP. I don't know how. You can see the shine, the difference in the shine. We have one bag of 519. Two, three bags of three, eight, four, six. Sorry, moving around so much. Um, two bags of this minty green 995. Two bags of this green, which is 954. And green is my favorite color. We have um, seven, four, five, and it has a blue, uh, a brown traveler in it. <laughs> and that's probably the traveler it came from. This is 3371. This is 743, and it also has a traveler. And here is 938. And I did forget to mention that this particular painting has 35 colors. Here we have, oh, let's see here, 733, 165, 3, 8, 2, 3, 1, 3, or sorry, I'm looking at it backwards, 3, 8, 1, 1. It's like a minty blue. We have three eight four three eight nine eight seven zero three seven zero one that right there that's my favorite green of all the greens a teeny tiny bag of 310 that is amazing um, we have 912 704 995 Look at how bright that blue is. Three, eight, five, three, nine, four, five, three, eight, four, one, three, hundred, three, five, three, eight, five, four, seven, four, two. 400, 732, 740, 3824, 947, and our second AB, which is 132. Look at that pretty sparkle. Oh, I can't wait to get started on this. And the ABs are. Let's see if we can find them on here. 
There are going to be numbers 1 and 2 on here. Let's see, 1 and 2. So let's see if we can figure out where those 1 and 2's are. Um, let's see, let's see. There's just a little bit in there, so it's probably going to be just a little pop. Um, where is that 2? Why don't I see any of them? Okay. I got a little bit of the 2 here and here. And here, under the shoe believed, right and through here, we have some of the two over here and in the leaves, leaves, and in the background, the two here. Now I see it everywhere. Wow. And over in here, uh, is there any two in the, I don't see any two in the actual bird. Let's see where the number one is. Number one is a yellow, orangey, orangey, sparkly, orangey color. Let's see. I see some of the one in the the leaves or the stems, like when they're starting to bloom. There's the one. Where else would there be a one? That can't be the only place. Huh. Excuse the sniffing. Oh, there's some one in the bird. Awesome. The, the little bits here, just the little bits here and the little bit, bits there tend to have more of an effect. This is going to be so fun to work on. I cannot wait to get started on it. So tell me, is this something you would do? Is this something you would like to have in your house to look at every day? Is it something you would like to see? Something you would like to, that you think would make you feel like you could fly? It's just so happy and beautiful just to take off. And that's about it for this diamond art painting. I hope you enjoyed it. And like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Remember, always be your best self. And whoever you are today will always be good enough. Thank you and bye.